A homecoming more than 70 years in the making. A sailor killed during the attack on Pearl Harbor. Believe it or not, finally returning home today to be reunited with his family in Port Huron. Sam and Action News reporter Curtis Jackson joins us now with uh, how his remains are finally ending up in the rightful place. And so glad this is happening all these years later. Exactly. You know, Carolyn and Stephen, the greatest generation is passing away at an exponential rate, leaving us with fewer opportunities to remember them. But one sailor's long journey home is proof that it's never too late. Memorial Day is still more than a week away. But in Port Huron, a poignant reminder that it's never too early to remember those who've made the ultimate sacrifice for country, and it's never too late either. More than 70 years after a day that lives in infamy, a Michigan sailor who died at Pearl Harbor is finally coming home. 19-year-old machinist mate first class Fred Jones was killed on board the USS Oklahoma, leaving behind a wife and two children. Generations later, his families and the nation's loss is still profound. They were just caught unaware. All those young men died. I just can't imagine. Jones's remains had been in a mass grave, part of history, but far from home. Thanks to advances in DNA research, the military was able to identify him and bring him home, where he'll rest next to his mother. Because I love my grandmother and I want him to be buried next to her. Machinist mate first class Fred Jones will be laid to rest with full military honors tomorrow. Some interesting numbers here. At one point we had about mm -hmm. 16 million World War II ve veterans still alive. Right. That number is fewer than a million today. I know. Wow, okay. so few, but glad this one could make it back home to his family, right, yeah. to get some closure. Truly better late than never. Yes, Thanks absolutely. Well, the Detroit Police Department